Off we go to the revered Autodroma di Monza. The first race here dates back to 1922. Since then, there have been some significant changes in order to slow the drivers down and improve safety. Nevertheless, the track today is the last remaining high-speed circuit on the calendar, with a full 70% driven flat out. The Retafilio chicane right after the start is intended to slow the pace down a bit ahead of the next right-hander. Only slightly though, as 260 kilometers an hour in the corner is still far from slow. Speed is the key on the long straights in Monza, and flat wings are essential here. However, downforce must not become too little. For this circuit naturally has corners too. Drivers need courage and good grip to handle this. Ideal balance is what the teams are aiming for going into the Grand Prix and what's needed in order to handle key spots like the Ascari chicane. The drivers approach at 330 km per hour, searching for the ideal line through the fast sequence of corners. Everything's got to go right here. Any mistake means losing time. And just for practice, the whole thing's repeated again in the final corner, the Parabolica. The line here is critical for the final speed on the start-finish straight and is thus crucial for maintaining a quick lap time. 